Hi, welcome to Yoga 413. I'm Tani and I'm going to be leading you in your yoga practice today. If you have a yoga block, go ahead and place that near the top of your mat and let's go ahead and get started. Let's begin in an easy seated position on your mat, sitting up tall and just begin to connect to your breath, lengthening both the inhale and the exhale. Bringing the hands to the heart, I invite you to set a personal intention for your practice today. May this class leave you feeling stronger, yet more relaxed and refreshed. Let's reach the arms up over your head. Then take that left arm down and just stretch through the right side of the body. Let's reach both arms back up. Exhale to the other side. Just feel that nice stretch through the left side. And then lift back up. We're just gonna walk the hands forward on our mat. Any amount, starting to just awaken and stretch those hips. And then bring it back in. And now you're just gonna switch your legs, putting the opposite foot in front. Again, sitting up tall, take that nice big breath in. And as you exhale, take that right hand to that left knee. Inhale to lengthen and exhale to deepen the twist. Reaching the arms back up, sitting tall. And exhale to the other side. Inhaling and exhale. Coming back front, and then just walk it forward any amount. Coming back up. Now we're gonna go to a tabletop position, so come onto all fours, onto your mat. Let's flow through a few rounds of cow and cat. So inhale to open the chest, lift your tailbone, and then exhale round the spine, chin towards chest. At your own pace, you're welcome to go ahead and just close your eyes, beginning to match breath and movement. Let's take one more round here. Finding that neutral spine, step the right foot back, and then just gently send the weight back to stretch through the calf and the bottoms of the feet. Let's bring it back in and just switch sides. Sending that weight back for a nice stretch. While we're here, go ahead and notice your fingers are spread wide. You always wanna put weight into the fingers to relieve pressure from your wrist. Now let's step both feet back and lift into our first down dog. Let's go ahead and gently begin to alternate, bending the knees. And just gazing through the feet or through the knees. Arms are strong. And then just find a nice still downward facing dog. Let's look forward and step the feet forward to the hands. Inhale, lengthen the spine to your half lift. Hands can come to the shins for support. And then exhale, fold, softening those knees as needed. Let's go ahead and cradle our elbows into our palms and gently just sway side to side. Just relaxing your neck, your shoulders. And then just come to the center of find stillness. Taking the hands down, just releasing those elbows, and we're gonna roll up one vertebra at a time. Make sure you're scooping your abs in. We're gonna find mountain pose or tadasana, rolling the shoulders down the back, palms are open forward. Reach your arms up to lengthen. 
and then exhale back to your fold again softening your knees lengthen the spine let's deeply bend that right knee and take the left hand up for a gentle twist and you're trying to straighten your left leg here never forcing just feeling the pose let's bring that hand down let's do the same thing deeply bend the left take that right arm up gently twist Bring the hands back to your fold. Lengthen the spine, half lift, gazing forward. Exhale and fold. This time, press through the feet, rise up with a flat back, reaching your arms up over your head, bringing the hands to the heart. Sun Salutation A, Siri Namaskar A, reach those arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to that flat back, shoulders pull back and fold. Let's step the feet back for plank pose. Fingers spread wide, pressing back through the heels, lengthen through the top of your head. Let's shift the weight forward and then drop the knees gently to the mat, lower just by bending your elbows, then all the way to the mat. Peel that chest up for cobra. Elbows are gently bent. Let's release back down. Keeping that back strong, belly lifted, knees down, press up. Tuck those toes, downward facing dog. So I always like to lead you in a supported version of our sun salutation because you can always uh, keep those knees down on the mat. Begin to look forward, stepping the feet to the hands, lengthen the spine, and fold. Inhale, reach those arms up, strong through those legs, hands to the heart. Begin again, inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale to a flat back and fold. Stepping back to plank, shifting forward on the toes, chaturanga, remember knees can come down. Flipping the feet over, pressing the arms straight for up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Looking forward, stepping or floating the feet. Exhale and fold. Inhale, reach up. Hands to the heart. One more time through, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Inhaling, half lift. Exhale, fold. Stepping back to plank. Back is straight, shift forward, chaturanga. Upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Looking forward, feet to hands. Lengthen that spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach those arms up over the head, bringing the hands to the heart. Let's bend the knees, sit back into chair pose, Utkatasana. Back is straight here, weights a little bit more back on those heels. You should be able to lift your toes, bringing the hands to the heart. Let's keep that right foot stationary. Step that left foot back for our first warrior lunge. Be sure front knee over ankle. Shoulders back over those hips. Open up to warrior two, dropping your back heel. Gazing forward. Reverse your warrior reach back. Circle those arms to the mat. Step back for plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Upward facing dog or cobra. Downward facing dog. Looking forward, bringing the feet back to the hands. And fold. Sink back into chair pose. Hands to heart center. 
leaving that left foot where it is, step that right foot back for warrior lunge. Open to warrior two, back heel drops down. Reach that front arm back, reverse your warrior, just lightly touching that back leg. Circling the hands to the mat, step back. Flowing through our half series, or you're always welcome to just go to down dock and hold and breathe. Looking forward, step or float, feet to hands and fold. Sit back into chair pose. Hands to the heart. Leaving that right foot, step the left foot back, warrior lunge. This time we're gonna take our hands down to frame that forward foot, keep that spine nice and long. Taking that right arm up and twist. Bringing the hands down, let's reach those arms right back up for our lunge. So here's an option for you. Let's bring the hands to the heart center. Begin to lean forward. And then exhale to your twisting prayer. So your option is you could go right back to that left hand down, right up, or come into this pose. As you inhale, reach those arms back up to your lunge. Exhale to warrior two. Reverse your warrior, reach back. Circling those hands to the mat, step back, vinyasa. Keeping that back straight. Remember if that back starts to curve, you wanna take your knees to the mat. Bringing the feet back forward and fold. Sink back into chair pose, hands to the heart. Let's try that on the other side. So keep that left foot, step that right foot back. Front knee over ankle. Let's bring the hands down, taking that left arm up. So drawing that belly towards the inner thigh. Let's take the hands down, inhale, reach it right back up. So here's your option, bringing the hands to the heart. Woo, begin to lean it forward. Exhale to twisting prayer, elbow outside of knee, or going back to the right hand down, left up. Come back to warrior lunge. Exhale to warrior two. Reverse your warrior, reach it back. Circle the hands to the mat, stepping back for vinyasa through that half series. Let's take several breaths here in down dog, relaxing those heels, finding that stretch. So we're gonna do that series one more time. We're gonna add on, and this time I want you to stay right here in down dog, but then begin to come into one leg dog, lifting the right leg up. As you exhale, draw that knee through the chest, press away from the mat, step that foot forward, warrior lunge. Bringing the hands to the heart, lengthen the spine as you lean forward. Exhale into your twist. Reach right back up. Open to warrior two. Reach that arm back for reverse warrior. So here's where we're gonna add on. Come back to warrior two. Start to lean forward. We're going into balancing half moon. So lifting up, taking that right hand down. So I had you get a block in case you needed it. So you can always place the block under the right hand. Trying to stack your hips. Just 
Take one more breath here in your balance. Be real patient. Start to soften that forward knee. Step back to warrior two. Good. Circle the arms to the mat through that half series. Right back to down dog. So begin to lift that left leg up for one leg dog. Find your balance. Arms are strong. As you exhale, that knee comes through the chest. Lift away from the mat. Step that foot forward. Front knee over ankle. Take your time. Find your pose. Bringing the hands to the heart. Begin to lengthen that spine as you lean forward. Coming into your twist. Reach it right back up. Open up to warrior two, dropping that back heel. Reverse your warrior. Let's come back to warrior two. So set up for your balancing half moon. Lean forward. You want a nice long spine. Left hand comes down, either to the four or to a block. So I always say practice patience on your balance. It cannot be rushed. Start to soften that knee. Step back. Warrior two. Good. Circle it to the mat. Vinyasa. You guys are doing a great job. Remember, if you need a break, take a child's pose or hit that pause button. And breathe. So now we're just going to bring our feet forward, have a seat on your mat. Find those sits bones, we're going to find boat pose. So just good posture, shoulders back, chest lifted. You can keep the toes on the floor if you'd like, or lift them up and release the legs. Good, just hold just one more breath. Beautiful job. Let's take the feet down. We're gonna roll it down all the way onto our backs, nice and slow, scooping those belly muscles in. Good, hug knees to chest. Get my mic out of the way here. Let's take the feet down, take the hands to your side. We're gonna lift into a bridge pose today. So feet hip distance apart, looking up, Begin to press through the feet, press the heels up. Walk the shoulders together and down your back. Maybe adding a chest expansion and by interlacing the hands. Or if you need support, just take your hands to the low back. Go ahead and drop those hips, hug the knees back into the chest. So you're gonna start to rock forward and back, gaining some momentum. Go one more time. Now try to find boat pose, find your balance. Good. Let's release, extending the legs out onto your mat. Toes turned up. Sit up nice and tall, arms overhead. Hinge forward from those hips, come into your fold. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale and fold. Let's go ahead and sit it up. So we're gonna do cow, cow face pose today. It's a great stretch for your hip and it includes the upper body. It's also called uh, gomukhasana is the Sanskrit term for it. But we're gonna start by placing that right foot back by the left hip and then just start to cross. So some of you might stay right here. We're working our way to stacking the knees and both feet back by the hips. 
So let's reach those arms up over your head and take that left hand to the center of your back, gently pulling down for a nice stretch here for the tricep, the back of the arm. You wanna be sure you're sitting up nice and tall. Back of the neck is long as well. Now you're welcome to stay here if you want to add a bind, taking that right arm behind the back and interlacing the hands. But be sure that you're sitting up nice and tall. You could also, if you had a towel or a strap, place that in the right hand or in that top hand. Good, let's release the arms and fold forward any amount, deepening the stretch into those hips. Let's relax and breathe. Go ahead and sit it up. Come back to where we started. And this time that left foot is gonna go underneath back to the right hip. Start to cross those legs. And eventually stacking the knees. Let's sit up nice and tall, arms up. Taking that right hand to the center of the back for your tricep stretch. choosing to stay or go ahead and take that arm down behind and interlace. Good. Let's go ahead and release those hands, lean it forward any amount, relax into those hips. Sit it up. Once again, extending the legs out, sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna go ahead and reach those arms forward. We're gonna work our belly muscles on the way down again. So just roll it down, nice and slow and steady. Coming back, knees to chest. And gently just rocking side to side or some circles. Let's keep that right knee in as the left leg extends out. Gently pulling that knee down and then coming into your spine twist. Let's come back onto our back, extending the leg, pulling that left knee in. And exhale and twist. Let's come back, hug the knees into the chest one last time. And then extending our legs out for Shavasana. Complete relaxation of both the mind and the body. So just take a moment to find stillness, close your eyes, and I'll be back in just a moment.
nice big breath in and start to wiggle the fingers and toes. And then gently pulling those knees in and rolling over to your right side into a fetal position. Taking a moment for gratitude. Thankful for our bodies, thankful for our time on our mat. And then help yourself up to an easy seated position. Bringing your hands to your heart. I hope you feel strong, energized, and relaxed and ready for the rest of your day. From my heart to yours, namaste. Have a blessed day, everyone. I'll see you in class soon.